My name is Claire Johnson, and I'm an artist, and I create art with a spiritual heart. I'm very fortunate to be born into a creative family, so I trained as a fashion designer, and so I honed my skill using colour and pattern, but not in such a material way. Uh, I now use it to paint paintings that um, are sourced from, I think, a higher inspiration. Well, I actually get the images of my paintings in my head, and I carry them in my head until they're fully formed. They're, all my paintings are made of recycled bits and pieces of vintage jewelry and crystals, bits and pieces, and sometimes I gather those and have them in my studio because one piece, a brooch, will represent, say, the hummingbird. I had um, a single brooch that I found in a car boot sale that said hummingbird to me, and I had it for a long time until the painting itself was fully formed in my head and then I went to my canvas and bring down the whole painting. Uh, and the actual original brooch never made it to the painting, but it was the inspiration point. So I saw it as something else. My original paintings, are um, they're all journeys that I have to live through before I get an understanding of what the painting is about. I get an image, but I don't know what the painting is about until I've completed the painting. By the time they're finished, they have a lot of my time and my energy in them, as well as the original bits and pieces that bring energy of their own. Their energy is supposed to come and benefit many people because they come with a real strong healing light. So I've had them photographed at a very high resolution so that I can have them reproduced onto different merchandise so they can be bought into people's homes in a much, much more user-friendly size and price. I've discovered what happens with the original paintings is because they have a three-dimensional effect, they break the surface so that as the viewer you can access the energy that's in them and it can pour out instead of it being a flat surface. So when I hand finish the prints and put a 3D element back on, they again become like a portal for the energy to be exchanged. I've been channeling now for 20 years, which uh, I think is quite an achievement really, because I sort of, for a long time, I described myself as a reluctant psychic. I was visiting a Native American Indian reservation called Taos in New Mexico, and I started receiving these thoughts in my head that were, um, it was almost like dictation. So it wasn't thoughts that I was consciously having, but when you read something and you read it with your own internal voice, it was that internal voice like reading something to me. I didn't know what on earth was going on. It just kept repeating and repeating and repeating. So I sat up in the dark and wrote it down. And what it said was so profoundly beautiful. I started receiving these words of guidance, which were um, really beneficial to me, but I was incredibly embarrassed by them because hearing voices in your head is synonymous with going barking mad, so I didn't tell anybody. I just thought I'd keep writing them down. And then after a while, I started to share them with friends and family, and, and they found they were particularly pertinent to their lives. So um, the volume of work gained and gained, and we decided to publish it into a book. And we've sold over 4,000 copies by word of mouth, which is uh, quite an achievement, really, with no publicity, no PR, and no distribution. So it is just universal consciousness that wants to go. But I've come to realize that uh, I've been given this as a great gift. And so I channel my paintings, I channel my healing colors, I channel my healing light as much as I channel the words that I was given, uh, which go in my book to heal people. So I'm now very much in tune with who I am, why it is me, and what it is I bring to the world through my images.